Hello wet shavers. Welcome to the Soap Thing Project. It's time for another shave. And the shave we're going to do today is going to be with Oleo Soap Works Windy City Barbershop. And I think now they're actually called uh, Chicago Grooming, but let's open this up and have a smell. Scent strength on this one, on my usual scale of light, moderate, strong, this is light. Yeah. Actually, let me double check. Yeah, lightly scented soap for this one. It's not too light, but it doesn't uh, rise to the level of what I would consider a moderately scented soap. Here are the ingredients on the back of the tub. And what are some of the ingredients that I am concerned about? We got cocoa butter, duck fat, jojoba oil. This is a canard base, by the way. So duck fat uh, base shaving soap. So that'll be the soap for today. After shave is going to be the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements CAD Star Jelly. Got the Gillette Fat Boy coming back for one more shave before we move on to other razors. And we are going to put a Persona Platinum or Persona Red. They're the same thing. We're going to put one of those blades, fresh blade into the razor. And the brush is going to be this 24 millimeter SHD Maggard Badger from not head brushworks. So let's get started. Okay, got 36 hours growth on the face today. We have the Pereira Shavery Unbreakable Shaving Bowl with the soap placed in the bottom of it. And I might have overdone it with the soap just a little bit, but hey, that's fine with me. So this soap can actually take quite a bit of water. So we're gonna do six sprays instead of three. And we are going to get started lathering the Oleo Soap Works Windy City Barbershop. Now, for this soap, I can tell we need water already. Very thirsty soap today. Now this soap, um, I have some good news and I have some bad news. The good news is this canard base from Oleo slash Chicago Grooming is one of the highest performing soaps I've ever seen. If I, had, if I had to make a top five video of the highest performing soaps, uh, this would be it. This, this would be in the top five, I mean, I'm sorry. So, this, yeah, this would definitely be somewhere in there. Now, the bad news is the execution of the scent notes, in my personal opinion, is a colossal disappointment. The notes that are supposed to be in here are... Amber, musk, bay rum, pink pepper, steel, and gunpowder. Well, what I actually get out of it is I get pink pepper and metallic notes. So I'm guessing that's uh, what the steel is trying to be. All the notes put together turn into this scent that's very reminiscent of Play-Doh. And when I'm thinking of a barbershop scent, that's the last thing I'm thinking about is Play-Doh. So it is a very, very disappointing uh, execution of a barbershop scent, in my personal, very, very subjective opinion. So take that for the grain of salt that it's worth, but not impressed at all with the scent on this. Those look like we got a rich, creamy lather. I might try seeing if I can whip that up and give it a little more structure. Let me see here. Oh yeah, look at that. A little bit of residual soap in the bottom of the bowl, but Got a good lather for today. So, I'm gonna use the uh, PAA ice tube that I unboxed. And this one is supposed to be uh, very menthol heavy, so we're gonna see how it performs. This is a pre shave, so it should provide some cooling and some extra slickness. Maybe boost the lather a little bit. So. Oh, 
Hope everybody is doing well. All right, and I need to put a blade into the Gillette Fat Boy. So let's do that. Okay. You can feel the menthol kicking in in this, so it's definitely giving some cooling action to the face. Okay. Ready to go with a fresh Persona Red. Let's get this soap on the face. This stuff is rich, my goodness. Never cease to be impressed with this stuff. All right. With a Gillette 195 Fat Boy Adjustable with a Persona Red. Let's see how we do. This is on setting four, by the way. I cranked it down just a little bit. Let's talk about barbershop scents for a minute because barbershop scents are very, very subjective. So when I think of a barbershop scent, what am I thinking about? I mean, I picture a barbershop scent being the sum of all the smells in the room. So I walk into a barbershop, I'm smelling the wood paneling on the walls, the leather in the barber chairs, all the hair care products, all the shaving soaps, the aftershaves, and the tonics. Stuff together, all that stuff put together. And the reason so many barbershop scents are so different from the other ones, different from one barbershop to the next, is because I've never been into an actual barbershop that smelled the same as the next one. There's some serious menthol cooling going on right now. Holy crap. That is good stuff. So... We're just going to do one pass, mostly with the grain today, because I've been finding that shaving against the grain, and sometimes even across the grain, is causing me to break out in ingrown hairs. So, So far we're doing good. I've had a lot of barbershop scents come and go from my shave den, but not many of them did I seriously think smelled nothing like a, uh, an actual barber shop would smell like. So this one is way off in left field. And when I opened the tub for the first time, it was very disappointing and very surprising. Now, this is not even the first tub I bought of this. I went, I went ahead and bought another one thinking well, maybe it's just a fluke, no? 
Either it smells like that by design, or it's very, very poor quality control. Either way, it's a problem. And if you like it, don't let me stop you. Go ahead and buy it. I mean, it's sold out most everywhere at the moment. But uh, if you like it, get your hands on some. Don't let me stop you from shaving with it. It's just not my cup of tea. I will say this. Uh, Chicago Grooming is sold out, I think, of almost everything. And there's a disclaimer on their website. I'm going to lather. That was dry right there. Lather. There's a disclaimer on their website saying, taking a little break, you know, we'll be back on May 7th. Well, May 7th has come and gone, even at the time this video is being filmed. Now, if uh, they get restocked and open back up uh, with a lot of products, between now and when the video posts, I will update the video with something along the bottom of the screen so that you can uh, be notified that they have been restocked. But at the moment, I'm not sure what's going on over there at Oleo slash Chicago Grooming. Okay, under the lip. I'm actually going to apply some lather and try shaving. I don't know. I feel like the shave is going well, but there's just like the width the grain just isn't isn't bringing the the hair down enough on my neck, and it looks like I didn't shave in this area. So let's try against the grain. See what happens. Most everywhere else it looks fine with a one pass with the grain shave, but right here in my neck it's just thick facial hair that doesn't want to behave. Let's try it. We didn't have any nicks or weepers on the neck up until now, so this will really be a uh, moment where we see if nicks in this area are just inevitable when you shave against the grain or if it's a behavior problem and a problem with shaving habits. There is a acne right there so if that starts bleeding out we're not gonna blame it on the shave. That's better. Let's have rinse, see if I missed anything. Not the closest shave ever, but <clears throat> that's good enough to go to work. And it does look like that is the first nick-free shave in a while. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit proud of myself. So, you got to love those uh, Persona Reds, I'm telling you. Yeah, that, that's good to go. Okay, so... We're going to come back for the alum block and then the aftershave and my final thoughts. Okay, picked up a second alum block. This one is from Omega because two is one, one is none in my shave den. So let's do the alum block report card for today. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go. This is 
getting surprising. No stinging at all. That is fascinating. Sometimes things just go according to plan. Not very often, but just sometimes they do. Okay, set that out to dry and that'll be the Allen Block Report Card for this shave. Okay, time for some PAA CAD Star Jelly. And this stuff is a truly amazing aftershave balm. This particular scent is reminiscent of, supposed to be reminiscent of, like, Barbasol. To my nose, it doesn't smell that much like Barbasol. It's similar. Maybe they were going for an older scent that Barbasol used to smell like. The new Barbasol smells vaguely similar, but not quite... Not quite the same thing, not very close in my personal opinion. All right, my final question for Oleo Soap Works, I'm just gonna call it Chicago Grooming, uh, Windy City Barbershop. If I exhausted this tub, would I buy it again? No. No, probably not, and it's, and it, I'm not gonna lie, it's because of the scent. Like, how do I, this is the same company that is capable of this. Excursion, La Nuit de Lone. This is a truly amazing scented soap. One of my personal favorites. Yet, you can't get a barbershop scent to work? I just, I don't know. I'm not angry, I'm disappointed. How about that? That's, that's what I have to say about Windy City Barbershop. So, it's a mixed bag for me. On the one hand, Chicago Grooming makes an amazing performing soap. Go get one. Just don't get this one. <laughs> that is that is my personal opinion, no matter how unpopular it is, and I am going to stick to it. So that'll be the end of the shave for today. Oh, I forgot about the price. I will put the price across the bottom of the screen for you. But that'll be the end of the shave for today. I want to thank everybody for watching, and until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. I'll see you next time.